Matthew Morris Jail was built in 1829 on the island of Anglesey in Wales. It is a grade one listed, partially ruined prison designed to accommodate up to 30 inmates. After the prison closed down, it became a police station up until the 1950s, when it then became a children's clinic up until 1974, when it opened as a museum. Two hangings took place at Beaumaris. The first was that of William Griffith in 1830 for the attempted murder of his first wife. The second execution was that of Richard Rowlands in 1862 for murdering his father-in-law. This is something he had denied until his end. It is stated that during his time of death, he put a curse on the prison's clock. And to this day, the clock on the church tower inside the prison never shows the right time. Both of these men were buried somewhere in the prison grounds. The location remains unknown. Maybe you're wondering who my guests are, Spirit. There's a lot of people here that haven't been to this venue before. Would you like me to introduce themselves? If they can introduce themselves, then it'd be really polite for you to introduce yourself back. There was a shadow there, yeah? There was a shadow at the bottom and I assumed it was somebody walking across that light that cast right, a shadow, okay. that's what I just oh, want I to check. Oh, I see what you mean, so there was a shadow down that end? Yeah. Right, okay, I understand now. So, that's yeah, it. That's it. Right. Have you walked across it? No. Do you want to walk across, Pearl? From one side to the other. It blinks a bit. No. It blinks a bit. No. No, so it, okay. it wasn't somebody's shadow. No, I saw a shadow walk from right to left and that light was on. So you're just wondering whether it's, I cast a shadow or... Yeah, yeah. I'm just picking yeah. up there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, spirits, if that's you that's down the end of this corridor, that walked across, can you do that again, please, so that we can see you? No, I'm right at the bottom end now. Because it was just before we heard the footsteps behind you. Mm. We had a cold breeze coming from here, and you went in here with me. I have introduced myself earlier, but I will do it again. My name is Sylvia. Please come forward. I can feel you around. Please feel free to come over to me. Any spirits here want to come forward and talk to us? You were tapping that over that way. Did you? It sounded like plaster, like plaster being tapped. Like that, but quieter. Have you done that? Would you like to copy it again, boss? Did you just double confirm that it was you, please? You 
Give it a spawn me. Copy the sound. Okay, is there anybody in this, this room? Anybody want to come forward and talk? We're here to communicate with you. If there's somebody here that wants to communicate, please let yourself be known. I'm sure you're aware of all the bits of equipment we've got around us. And I'm sure you know what they all do. And they're not gonna hurt you. They're all here just to let us know you're there. If you could talk something, make something light up, come and touch us, I'd be really grateful for that. I give you permission, permission to come and touch me if you'd like. All this equipment here, you're welcome to come and touch it. It's not going to hurt you. That's all it'll do. English again. So the word English come through on the Spirit Talker app. Uh, we are in Wales, we're not in England. Um, so maybe this person's realising that I'm English and they're very curious about me. I don't know. Yeah, I am English. And we're not welcome here in Wales. We've come here and we just want to communicate. We want to find out your story, who you are. That's happened. What's behind you? I don't know where it came from, but it made me freeze. Like a, like a floorboard, if I'm not like it was over there. I felt like it was in front of me, but I didn't you know, made me freeze. Is that you that's tapping around Sylvia? Can you do it again for me, please? Can you tap it on the floor or on the wall? Maybe you were walking around. Can you please do it again for us? If you don't want us in this room, you want us to go somewhere else, then just, just move that ball in front of the in front of the camera there. And we'll move to a different room. You need to give us some indication where you want us to be. Okay, so a little while ago. Everyone was having a bit of a break downstairs and we stayed upstairs. There's a, a lady here tonight who is a medium and she did a little bit of an experiment with us. The door was locked up, you couldn't go in the cell, but she had us putting a hand inside where you would have put food in. And she asked us to just relax and, and try and see what we can feel. Now, I had a go and Sylvia had a go. I felt a child by the door, a little boy, and then I felt like there was a lady on the bed pulling herself up the corner, sort of almost cowering away. Sylvia felt a child beyond that door. The lady then confirmed that there is actually a spirit of a female and a child, both in this prison. There is also her husband downstairs who tried to murder her. He did put her head in the fire. She's heavily scarred and I feel like she's still around. Now she's, she knows who we are. I feel like she's up here. I've had some footsteps. And I just picture her. I picture her. Uh... Yeah.
Don't have to be scared. Don't need to be afraid of me. Spending all your time in here. Victorian era. Just like the ones at Shrewsbury, isn't it? Spirits in here that want to come and talk to me. You haven't got to be afraid. cell just down there you'll come walk along this corridor straight out of this door and beyond this door the noose awaits for you and it will be a public execution people will come to see and it'll all be open up from the fields there was no buildings there like there is now these cells are so small just a bed and a toilet that is it this one has a sink as well. The other one's just got a toilet. No such thing as hygiene back in those days, especially not for a prisoner. Who's in there? Who's in here, please? I reach out and touch him. So we, so we have now. What's the flashing? That's flashing. I see flashing. Okay, spirits, we've moved into another room. We believe this looks like a prison cell. It's a very, very cold prison cell. I'm not entirely sure what this thing is that we're using as a table. It's made of concrete and it almost looks like it. it's got an old grid on top. And behind me in the corner, there is an old toilet. So I believe that there used to be a bed here at some point. So if there's anybody who wishes to come and speak to us, if there's anybody here with us, whoever's died in this room, or this was your prison cell, please come forward and talk to us. Again, I've got many devices lying around. You don't have to be a prisoner. You don't have to be a worker. Just somebody that is some way related to this prison. Can you come forward please and talk to us? 
if you're tapping in that corner, do it again. Maybe tap Sylvia on the shoulder. Maybe stroke her hair, touch her on the face. Do something just to let us know you're there. I am keep hearing things coming here. Oh, that was my elbow. <laughs> on the left of me. Yeah. Like, in the corner. So if there's anybody in this room that wishes to come forward and talk to us, we will be really grateful and we'd be really, really interested to speak to you. So can you come forward please, touch one of our devices, touch one of us, make a sound, whistle, tap, anything, anything you can do, please do so. We'd be very, very grateful. here well okay that's not me it's not my camera it does it's not my camera is it yeah and it's not my phone look it's not my phone yeah because uh just sticking all that infrared's flashing up on my phone it's trying to pick up my face if i just unlock it it's the uh the to unlock with your face if you know what i mean I'll just show you, look, it's actually, it's on airplane mode. Can you do it again for me, please? To show us that you're there. You've just been touching this device. We've been really close to it and we heard you. Can you do it again for me, please? Or maybe this one here. If you touch it, look. That's all it'll do. It doesn't hurt you. I believe you'll know that. Just come and touch one of these two devices here, please. Please come forward 
and communicate with us. Please touch one of the devices. It will flash up to let us know that you're here. We got them two green lights, one on the unit, one on the floor. And there's also on the desk a little ball that if you move it, it will flash up. They're not gonna harm you. We're not gonna harm you. We just want to talk to you. A real sharp pain in hell. Can, can you help? Why have you got sharp pain? The back of my head here. Yeah. This part of my head, the head, the back, it's really. In fact, it, it, it has been sharp, but it feels like pressure. Really, um, really bad like pressure, just this side. Are you affecting Simon? I've had it since we were doing the spirit box earlier when everyone was in here. I had it a little bit down, but it's still here and it's getting worse, I'll be honest. Are you trying to affect Simon? Are you trying to communicate from him? Close. Are you that close to Simon? As soon as I went near this K2 earlier, it went off and I proved it wasn't the camera, it wasn't my phone. I do have a spirit box on me, it's turned off. No, so it's not going to do anything to it. I've got nothing else on me, electric. When we were doing the human pendulum a while ago, we believe it was a girl. Well, it, it, what was communicating was a girl, however, the lady believes that it was actually... That's got to be a door. One of the doors, that is. These, this, this building is... This, this building is super old. Some of the doors do come back open. They're just really old. So I've taken out the spirit box and it's all set up. And we're gonna try and communicate with whoever or whatever is in this room with us. We'll see if we can get any decent responses. We're trying to speak to the warden of this prison. So if the warden's here, please come forward and talk to us. Can you let us know first of all that you're here, please? that Sylvia has. We just had the words, he's coming. Now, can you please tell us who's coming? female names and now we're up here we're getting a lot of mail. Can't be a coincidence, so I guess it could be, but it's weird how we were down there. All female names we had about six of them and so far I think we've had about three male up here. Yeah. That's pretty um pretty interesting. Okay spirit, so I want someone to talk nice and clearly and give me the name of the person who's coming. Who's coming, please? Should we be afraid?
previously we believe we were talking to the spirit of a 20 odd year old girl and we believe that she worked here we believe that she was also a slave before she came to work here now we don't know what kind of work she did here but we were really interested to find out can that girl please let us know if she's still here Okay guys, so we're just going to go head back towards the condemned room, which is the room that the prisoners would go in before they would face execution. Two people were hung here back in the day. So let's find out if there's anything in there that wants to communicate. This room that we're in is known as the condemned room. Uh, it's the final place that a person would stay for the night, the day before their execution. If one of those people that was hung in this prison is here, then please come. Please come and communicate with us. Have you just knocked on the wall, Spirit? Can you please do it again to confirm? Let us know you're here. Any spirits connected to this room? Do a little tap over here, just. Here's someone there crying. Yeah. Cry. Mm -hmm. What the hell was that? What the hell was that? Tell me you heard that. How's that lock moved? You hear that? Just behind me, up the stairs, there's some people in the group. Sounds like they're having some activity up on the top of them stairs. That's why I felt like there was footsteps coming towards me, just before my video cut off. Spirits, anybody in this room? It's a laundry room, plenty of women's names we've had through. Any of those women work in this room? Of all those women's names we had down here on the ground floor, is there anyone that wants to come forward? 
maybe touch somebody, touch one of us. Sylvia's just over there. Maybe go and touch Sylvia. Did anybody work in this room? That, that headache I got at the, the back yeah. left side of my head, it's coming back again. Anybody work? Are you? Yeah. Doesn't have to be a female. Is there anybody at all that wants to come forward? During our two hour journey back home to England, we discussed the goings on of the night. There is definitely 100% more than meets the eye inside that prison. Whoever resides there wanted to make themselves known. And this is definitely somewhere I would love to return one day. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this one, please drop a like down below. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I also have a second channel, the Explore Beyond Blogs. There's some great content over there, so be sure to check that out too. And if you want to follow me on social media, there will be links down below in the description. Once again, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.